Shoop, shoop, shoo Shoop, shoop, shoo I'm going back to country living Where the air is fresh and green Going back to natural living where the grass is tall and green and the life can be seen Whoa. proper things proper things proper life could be seen yeah going back you know when you go back when you think about going back when you talk about going back when you rewind your mind back Things always look good and rosy. Things always look better. You get this warm, glossy, fluffy image of how things were back in the day. You know, it might not have been like that back in the day, but you always seem, seem to remember it like that back in the day. Well, I do anyway. Um, but looking back in photography is very important, I find, for the growth and development of one's skills looking back at works that you've done prior to a year before two years before three years before or whenever it is you started it's important to look back you know and sometimes in this world we're kind of encouraged to not look back don't look back just move forward you know, just get the latest technology and just keep moving forward and don't look back. But that's a mistake. You know, and it kind of reminds me of, you know, when you watch them horror films. <laughs> watch them horror films, right? And the person is running from the monster. They're running from the monster, yeah? And the monster's behind this big monster, Frankenstein or whatever it is, Terminator. It's running behind them and they always look back. And the moment they look back, they have a trip, bump into something, or they're frozen in fear. So the monster, lurching as slowly as it's coming, manages to catch up to them and grab them around the neck or whatever it is, and then it is the end of us. And I think, this is a conspiracy bit now, I think this is the media programming our minds to not look back. It's saying, don't look back. Keep going forward. Here, have a new piece of technology and move forward. Don't worry about what happened yesterday, last week. It's a mistake. I think it's a mistake. They want to sell us gear so they frighten us to not look back. They are the monster in the 21st century that we have to, you know, don't worry about the monster. Look back. See the monster, analyze the monster, and turn the monster into something new, something beautiful, <laughs> using our skills of development, you know? It's important to look back. I mean, this week, I've been looking back at some of the images that I've taken in my photography. Uh, I didn't go back too far, I went back to 2016. I re... I'm got back into photography, I'll remind you if you don't know, I got back into DSLR photography in 2013 when I bought my Canon 50D. Prior to that, I was just doing video. I was the video man, video man, video man, you know, using them big XHA1 mini DV cams. But I always wanted to get back into my photography that I started from when I was younger. So 2013, I got back into it and it's been a journey since then. My photography was Obviously not as strong as it is today, but in order for your photography or any skills to improve, as I said, you've got to keep practicing and looking back from time to time. You look back. So I've been looking back over some of my images. I'm going to throw some up on the screen so you can see, you know, it's been a journey. And what I've realized is my photography has changed quite a lot, even in the space of a year or two years, it's changed. And the change is very gradual, but steady, but interesting. You know, looking back, I can see some images that I thought 
not too much of because obviously my skill level wasn't where it needed to be. I can see what I was doing wrong or how I was approaching certain subjects wrong or it's not necessarily wrong, but just because I didn't have the eye, the critical eye that I have now. And it's all good. It's really exciting. Some of the images that I didn't really rate back then, looking back, I can see, you know, a little tweak here, a little tweak there. And it's a pretty good image. I think some of the things that I were trying, I tried lots of different things back then. Um, I still try a lot of things, but it's reduced the, the, the range, the wide range of things that I would photograph on a daily basis, I think, has kind of calmed down a bit. And that can be good, but also it could be bad. Not bad, but not necessarily as good, because obviously I'm, I'm learning what things really resonate with me and what things, you know, I was just trying because it was there which isn't necessarily a good thing to do, I don't think. But, you know, just looking back at some of these images, it's quite interesting and it's quite inspiring. And sometimes when you reach a plateau in your photography, you don't know how to get to the next level. It might be time to get those old images out, to get those old photo albums out. Well, maybe not that far back. I mean, I have gone back to some of my old photo albums and. It's quite scary, you know, looking at some of those images. But we must remember to not beat ourselves up. We can only be where we are. We can only be as good as what we are, you know. And we must learn to see our growth and development and encourage ourselves without beating ourselves up, yeah. We must look back and not frown on ourselves or anybody else for that matter. I remember watching a video from a particular YouTube channel, I'm not going to say the name, but they were talking about looking back at some of their images, but they were looking at their early images mockingly, laughingly, you know, I was crap back then. They were using words like that. I sucked back then. And I didn't think that was quite productive. You know, you got, we have to remember there are people in the position that we were now. And if we're showing images and we're saying, look at this image and look how it sucked. And if people are taking pictures now, their images look like that, how are they going to feel? So we have to get out of this images suck thing. I'm just, I just, I don't like it. I don't like hearing images suck. No, images don't suck. You just don't understand how to view, how to rate, how to look at what was in the photographer's mind at the time. Whether they had the skill to pull it off or not is not really relevant. What were they trying to do? They will get to where they need to get to in due course with the right encouragement, with the right type of um, critique. Yeah. So, critique myself. So, here's some images. I'm going to throw them up. So, cue the music for the gallery. Do, 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 do. Do 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 I just made that bit up. Do 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 because I can't remember how it went. Do 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 hip hop Here's the reggae one. Dum 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 dum
There you go. Few images from way back when. Um, it's interesting, but those in the know regarding looking back, those in the know knew that looking back. Now, let me start again. In school, history was one of my weakest subjects. That was one of the subjects, and a lot of us in school, particularly coming from the black community, because we're not really taught about our history in history. When we go to the state school, we're, we learn European history, and it just, at that age, it's just not the right thing for us to be focusing on. It's very hard for you, if you don't come from that culture, to be focusing on that, when a lot of the time we don't even know where we come from, yeah? So history was looking back, but history was a thing that we hated. But those in the know knew the history is where all the secrets are. History is best qualified to reward all research. Those in the know knew this, but those in the new, i.e. those that want new stuff all the time, those in the new don't know. And that's where we are today. It's very interesting. Those who want new stuff who are constantly on the latest, want the latest, greatest, the, the um, techographers, you know, those pushing the tech just want you to be focusing on new stuff. But when you focus on the new stuff all the time, you don't know about the good qualities of the old stuff. So it is what it is. Very interesting. Anyway, just wanted to come on and talk about going back, looking back. Let's look back. Get your old stuff out. Have a look. Analyze. Critique. So that we know, have a clear direction to move forward. Done. Zoom. Doom ba doom ba doom ba doom. Doom ba doom doom. Doom ba doom 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 doom. You know it's hard. Don't forget what you got. Looking back. Looking back, looking back, looking back. We got Zenidan, we're gonna use it. We got Zenidan, we got to use it. You know it's hard, don't forget what you got. Looking back, looking back, looking back, looking back.